Hello students. Today we are going to discussing on the chapter that is hydrocarbons. Then you have studied detail about the hydrocarbons in organic chemistry or organic compounds. Then see here what are hydrocarbons. Hydrocarbons are the organic compounds. These are the organic compounds which containing which containing carbon and hydrogen or these are the organic compounds which are derived from which are derived from plants and animals and the main constituent of these compounds main constituents of these compounds are carbon and hydrogen hence they are called as hydrocarbons then these are nothing but these are the organic compound of which main constituent is carbon and hydrogen all of you studied about this and there are different types of hydrocarbons that is generally hydrocarbons are classified into two categories that is open chain hydrocarbons or open chain hydrocarbons are also known as aliphatic hydrocarbons aliphatic means these are obtain or these are present in fats of animals and plants then second one that is closed chain organic compound or these are also known as ring compounds then see here open chain or aliphatic organic compounds are again classified into two categories that are saturated hydrocarbons saturated hydrocarbons and unsaturated hydrocarbons all of you aware of that saturated hydrocarbons these are nothing but alkenes that is alkene are the saturated hydrocarbons in which carbon hydrogen and carbon carbon bonding are all are singly bonded that means that alkene contains carbon carbon single bond and unsaturated compounds that is alkenes and alkynes in which the alkenes which containing at least carbon carbon one double bond and alkynes alkynes which containing carbon carbon triple bond that means these are unsaturated hydrocarbons all of you studied detail about the alkenes alkenes and alkynes then closed chain ring compounds these are also classified into two categories that is ring chain organic compounds are classified into homocyclic ring compounds and heterocyclic ring compounds again homocyclic and heterocyclic both are classified into two categories that is alicyclic organic compounds and aromatic organic compounds all of you studied detail about the alicyclic and aromatic compounds that means here hydrocarbons are of different types that is alkenes alkenes alkynes ring compounds in which homocyclic heterocyclic compounds are there today we are going to study about the alkenes then 
definition of alkene alkenes are nothing but these are the saturated saturated open chain open chain organic compounds in which all carbon carbon bond and all ch bonds are single bonded singly bonded that are known as alkenes that compounds are known as alkenes all of you aware of that alkenes is a one of the homologous series category in which there are different types of particular examples that is methane is the first member of alkane series ethane propane butane pentane hexane heptane octane nonane decane decane which containing 10 carbon atom see here there are dif uh, different types of alkanes which having a particular molar uh, molecular formula but general formula of alkane is cn h2n plus 2 where n is the any natural number that is 1 2 3 4 then according to this formula we can prepare a specific type of we can prepare the molecular formula of particular alkene then see here first of all we have to study about the isomerism takes place in alkenes there are different types of isomerisms takes place in hydrocarbon you have studied detail about in the previous chapter of organic chemistry then see here isomerism what is isomerism it is a property of organic compound which having same molecular formula but shows different structural formulas are called as isomerism that means here isomerism of alkane is of different types chain isomerism position isomerism uh, functional isomerism metamerism tautomerism these are the different types of uh, isomerism takes place in the organic compound out of that chain isomerism that is structural isomerism takes place in alkane we have to study about that then chain isomerism in pentane first of all we have to study about the chain isomerism in pentane then see here pentane the penta means it contains five carbon atom these five carbon atoms when it is arranged in a straight chain and then it is a normal chain of pentane therefore it is known as n hexane similarly the branched alkane in which one of the ch3 group is attached to the second carbon atom then pentane shows different types of chain isomerisms in chain isomerism that is isopentane here isopentane is one of the chain isomerism that is it is a branched pentane and the name of this alkene is isopentane then one more branched pentane isomer of pentane is there that is neopentane neopentane which having same molecular formula but difference in their chain structure or carbon skeleton structure that is here n hexane is a normal chain or straight chain 
अल्किन स्टेट चेन पेंटेन आइसो पेंटेन एंड नियो पेंटेन बोथ आर द ब्रांचड अल्किन और ब्रांचड टाइप ऑफ अल्किन एंड दीज आर द थ्री चेन आइसोमर्स ऑफ पेंटेन सिमिलरली वी कैन ड्रॉ द डिफरेंट स्ट्रक्चर्स ऑफ चेन आइसोमेरिज्म इन ब्यूटेन ब्यूटेन कंटेन्स फोर कार्बन एटम दट इज वन ऑफ देम इज स्टेट चेन ब्यूटेन दट इज यन ब्यूटेन एंड अनादर वन दट इज ब्रांच चेन ब्यूटेन दट इज आइसो ब्यूटेन इज आइसो ब्यूटेन सिमिलरली वी कैन ड्रॉ द स्ट्रक्चर्स ऑफ चेन आइसोमेर आइसोमर्स ऑफ हेगेन हेगेन शोज डिफरंट टाइप्स ऑफ चेन आइसोमर्स दट इज फर्स्ट वन स्टेट चेन आइसोमेरिजम स्टेट चेन आइसोमर विच इज नोन एज यन हेगेन यन हेगेन the second one that is in branched alkene it is a iso hexane and ch3 c ch3 ch3 ch2 ch3 that is a neo hexane and one more isomer of hexane is ch3 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 that means here there are four different types of chain isomerism shown by the hexane that is about the isomerism which is exhibited by the alkenes as the molar mass increases the number of carbon atoms increases in the chain the number of isomers also increases that means butane shows two is chain isomer isomers pentane shows three isomers hexane shows the uh, four isomerism similarly higher alkene shows more number of isomerism that is about the isomerism takes place in the alkenes then we are going to discussing on the preparation of alkenes all of you studied about the iupac nomenclature of different organic compounds in previous chapter then preparation of alkenes and here first of all there are generally two types of methods commercial method in which preparation of organic compounds takes place in large scale and that commercial method is also known as industrial method and second one that is small scale method in which uh, organic compounds are prepared in small scale that means it is prepared in the laboratory and which is known as laboratory method or small scale method so for study about the industrial method of preparation of alkenes then see here all of you studied about the crude oil or petroleum petroleum or crude oil which is obtained in the deep in the earth crust because of pressure high pressure and high temperature dead plants and animals when get buried in the earth crust because of high pressure and temperature they are converted into crude oil or petroleum and it requires lakhs of years or long period that means here 
crude oil and petroleum are derived from dead plants and animals because of high pressure and high temperature then these crude oil which is which having a bad odor and which is sticky and having heavy mass and that crude oil which is in which containing different types of impurities from crude oil and petroleum different types of alkanes different types of alkanes are obtained with that is petrol diesel gasoline these are also higher alkanes which is obtained by the fractional distillation fractional distillation of crude oil that means crude oil undergoes distillation using fractionating column and at different boiling points these are often at their boiling points similarly natural gas natural gas is the mixture of different types of alkanes from natural gas we can also obtain the lower gaseous alkanes by fractional distillation lpg cylinder which containing the mixture of butane isobutane and these natural gases that is these petroleum gases are liquidified and filled into the lpg gas let us see here that is the one of the industrial method from which we can obtain the different types of alkanes then second preparation method that is from unsaturated hydrocarbons unsaturated hydrocarbons all of you aware of that unsaturated hydrocarbons are nothing but these are alkenes and alkynes alkynes that means we can prepare alkenes from alkenes and alkynes see here ch2 double bond ch2 that is ethene is alkene which undergoes reduction which undergoes reduction reduction means addition of hydrogen and addition of hydrogen takes place in presence of reducing agent that means reduction of alkene takes place because of reducing agent and here platinum or palladium are used as a reducing agent and if platinum and palladium are used as a reducing agent this process takes place at room temperature this process takes place at room temperature if instead of platinum or pal palladium rane nickel is used rane nickel is used then reduction takes place at high temperature that means the conditions of reactions depends upon catalyst and there are different types of reducing agent that is rane nickel platinum palladium rudenium rhodium nahg sodium amalgam zinc hg zinc amalgam mghg magnesium amalgam zinc plus dilute hcl is a good reducing agent copper zinc couple is a good reducing agent that means there are different types of reducing agents which is which carried out the reduction of unsaturated compounds similarly li alh4 is a complex compound which is also act as a 
गुड रिड्यूसिंग एजेंट सिमिलरली एन ए बी एच फोर इज ऑल्सो गुड रिड्यूसिंग एजेंट विच इज यूज फॉर द रिडक्शन ऑफ डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ अनसेचुरेटेड कंपाउंड इन टू सैचुरेटेड कंपाउंड देन सी एम हाइड्रोजन एडेड अक्रॉस द डबल बॉन्ड इन द कार्बन एंड इट गिवस थ्री सी एच थ्री दैट इज इथेन सिमिलरली प्रोपीन सी एच थ्री सी एच डबल बॉन्ड सी एच टू इट अंडर गोज रिडक्शन इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ रैनेनिक ऑन हिटिंग इट गिवस प्रोपेन सी एच थ्री सी एच टू सी एच थ्री दट इज प्रोपेन इज ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम रिडक्शन ऑफ प्रोपेन यूजिंग रिड्यूसिंग एज रैनिक इंस्टेड ऑफ रैनिक इफ वी यूज एन ए एच जी दट इज सोडियम अमल देन हियर नासंट हाइड्रोजन शुड यूज दैट मीन्स when nah is reducing agent is used then nascent hydrogen is obtained here nascent hydrogen means newly freshly prepared hydrogen which reduces to the alkene similarly from alkynes from alkynes that is ch3 c triple bond ch3 that is propyne propyne it undergoes reduction using one of the reducing agent that is platinum palladium rhodium rhodium or rhenanic Rhenanite on heating that which reduces to the alkyne and can first if converted into alkene and then it converted it into alkene that means here twice H two is consumed to convert propyne into propane. That means yes, alkenes are obtained from alkene and alkynes by reduction process using very particular type of reducing agents. Then third preparation method from alkyl halide. All of you studied about the different types of organic compounds. Alkyl halide that is R X. Here R C L, R B R, and R I. That means alkyl chloride, alkyl bromide, and alkyl iodides are there. Then alkyl halide. That is C H three, C H two B R. That is ethyl bromide. I U P A C of ethyl bromide is bromoethane. Which undergoes reduction using reducing agent that is zinc and dilute HCl. Here, zinc and dilute HCl which liberates nascent hydrogen. Nascent hydrogen that is freshly prepared hydrogen which reduces to the alkyl halide see here h and here h bond will breaks down here and ch3 ch3 plus hbr formation takes place that is ethane is obtained here from ethyl bromide by the reduction of ethyl bromide using zinc and dilute hcl as a 
reducing agent that means here process reduction takes place here reduction of alkyl halide using zinc and dilute HCl it gives corresponding alkenes similarly CH3 CH2 CH2 Cl which undergoes reduction using zinc and dilute HCl as a reducing agent it gives propane CH3 CH2 CH3 that is propane plus HCl next one method that is from alkyl halide we can prepare the alkanes but here zinc and dilute HCl is used to convert alkyl halide into alkane but different types of active metals are used to prepare the alkanes from alkyl halide and one of the method of preparation method of this type that is here that is fourth preparation method Woods synthesis Woods synthesis Woods is a name of scientist Woods synthesis or Woods preparation Woods preparation method here in this method alkyl halides that is CH3 Br alkyl halide there are two molecules of alkyl halide that is CH3 Br that means here two molecules of alkyl halide when heat treated with active metal like sodium or zinc then here if Pure and dry ether is used as a solvent. Pure and dry ether is used as a solvent. Then here CH3, CH3 that is alkane which is obtained here which containing more number of carbon atoms which is present in the alkyl halide. That means here methyl bromide contains one carbon atom. Methyl bromide contains one carbon atom. And the alkane which is obtained here which containing two carbon atoms that means here higher alkanes are obtained. Higher alkanes are obtained here. See here Sodium metal is used here and pure and dry ether is used as a solvent to convert methyl bromide into higher alkanes. Similarly, CH3, CH2, Cl. Here two molecules of alkyl halide is used here. That is ethyl chloride when treated with sodium metal that is active metal like sodium or zinc then here CH3 CH2 CH2 CH3 that is N butane is obtained here. That is ethyl chloride in is converted into N butane in presence of pure and dry ether. The next preparation method that is Grignard's reagent. See here. Grignard's reagent Grignard's reagent which is known as GR Grignard's reagent which having general formula R Mg 
x. See here, the general formula of Brignard's reagent is RMGX. R, which is alkyl group, magnesium, that is metal. X, which is halide group. That means here, what is Brignard's reagent? Brignard's reagent is a organo metallic halide compound halide compound in which in which two valencies of magnesium magnesium is divalent and two valency of magnesium are satisfied by X group and R group in which magnesium metal is attached to R group, alkyl group and halide group is called as Grignard's reagent. Examples of Grignard's reagent that is CH3 MgCl. That means it is a methyl magnesium chloride C2H5MgBr ethyl magnesium bromide these are the few examples of different Grignard's reagent. From this Grignard's reagent, we can prepare alkanes. Then see here, preparation of alkane from Grignard's reagent. From Grignard's reagent. Here. CH3 Mg Br that is methyl magnesium bromide which it undergoes hydrolysis in presence of pure and dry ether. Here pure and dry ether is used for the purpose of Grignard's reagent which is soluble in pure and dry ether and hydrolysis of Grignard's reagent takes place to give alkane that is CH4 plus MgOHBr the byproduct which is obtained here magnesium hydroxy bromide that is MgOHBr and alkane which is obtained from methyl magnesium bromide is a methane similarly CH3 CH2 MgCl it undergoes hydrolysis in presence of pure and dry ether it converted it into ethane CH3 CH3 that is ethane Mg Cl OH that is about the preparation of uh, alkanes that means these are the different methods of preparation of alkane thank you